So, what are team roles? Dr Meredith Belbin defines a team role as a tendency to behave, contribute and interrelate with others in a particular way. During a period of over nine years, Belbin and his team of researchers at Henley Management College studied the behaviour of managers from all over the world. The people taking part in the study were given a battery of psychometric tests and put into teams of varying composition while they were engaged in a complex management exercise. Their different core personality traits, intellectual styles and behaviours were assessed during the exercise. As time progressed, different clusters of behaviour were identified as underlying the success of the teams. These were named team roles. In an ideal world, a group or team can draw on the resources and contributions of nine such roles, some practical, some creative, some important because of the way they bring cohesion and common purpose to the operation and so on. These roles are not fixed in stone. People and circumstances change and evolve, and an individual may not always be required to play the same role in every situation. You may find that you have three or four natural roles which you can use appropriately, depending on the situation. Very few people display characteristics of just one team role. What's important is that everyone on a team understands what each other's roles are and how best to share and utilise the different skills, personalities and strengths they represent. Unfortunately, as we all know, strengths can also be weaknesses. A sense of urgency, for example, may be useful in meeting a deadline, but not when you're looking for creative or imaginative solutions to a problem, or when a shortcut may bring worse problems in the long run. Some weaknesses a team can live with. Others can be destructive. A proper understanding of team roles will help you become aware of what those weaknesses are and how to deal with them.